This week's teaching challenge features one of Britain's best-loved entertainers, the poet John Hegley. John is passing through the gates of Eleanor Palmer Primary School in North London, where he'll be taking an English class with Year 6. Uh, what I want to do with these children, these boys and girls, is I want to get them to do a bit of singing, um, a bit of writing, maybe a bit of laughing, um, and I want to show them my suit. When poets aren't visiting, the class are taught on a daily basis by Louise Wikes. Before John's lesson begins, he and Louise adjourn to the school's attractive seating area in the playground. John, welcome to Eleanor Palmer Primary School. What is it you're thinking of doing with the children? Um, well, I'm going to put my suit on and I'm going to show, use that as an example of the things that... Uh, the names that we give things, because it's interesting that we give a pair of trousers, jacket and then coat hanger, and, and it that describes what it is. And so to get them to look at that sort of, you know, like, what, anim what animal name describes the animal rather than being a name like tiger, then I'm going to get them to use phrases to describe an elephant, then we're all going to sing those, hopefully. OK. And I'll play the music while they sing them. Fantastic. I think they're really, they're really going to enjoy that. And anything for me to look out for? Um, I think really just that sense of excitement that you're here. We might go from being quite quiet to just getting quite overexcited, which, you know, I'm sure is fine, but it's yeah. that, that sense of just kind of trying to keep a little bit of a lid on anything that might get too, uh, too excited. Yeah, it's, it's poetry, it won't get too excited. <laughs> As the class await full of expectation for their star guest, John is busy collecting teaching materials. The flatter the leaves, the more one achieves. The wetter, the not better. And once they're gathered, without further ado, and indeed any introduction, the master of the sudden entrance gets straight down to business. Here they are, the leaves. I've found them. OK, uh, these are leaves from your school, and we are going to create poetry. I don't know who first thought of the word poetry, but it's a tree with... What do you think the poetry's got on it? Pictures around it. Could have pictures no, it's around it. Poems. It's got poems, yes, it could have pictures around it and it could have poems around it. And <coughs> what we're going to do is use these leaves. So here we are, here's the leaves. We don't know if we can write on them, but I'm sure we can do something with them. Um, here we are, so hand them out, make sure everybody gets a leaf. Two leaf persons there, two leaf students here. Um, right, um, so we're going to try doing something for the word tree. We're going to try and make up a sentence beginning with the word T, a sentence. Put your hand up when you've got an idea. OK, let's try this lad here. Beginning with T, here we go. Your word is? Um, tremendous. Tremendous, good. OK, now we're going to go on to the next one. We're trying to make a sentence, so that makes sentence sense. Uh, beginning with R. OK, we're going to go over here. Um, rats. Tremendous rats. Yeah. Excellent. Tremendous rats. I like the way this one's going. OK, now think of a sentence. What's it going to be? So, tremendous rats. Don't shout out. OK. Eat. Eat. Oh, it's going very well. Tremendous rats. Eat. And rat right over here. That's right, right into this corner. Yeah. Yeah. Tremendous rats. Eat what? Bread. Tremendous rats eat bread. And that's got an E in it, so you just move the B and the R further down. And your one? Tremendous rats eat everything. Tremendous rats eat everything. Excellent work. OK. And pens down again. Pens down. Eyes front. OK, very good. Tremendous rats eat everything. Really very, very, very good one, that. Um, so we're going to try and do some... Now, uh, does, does, does this board work? Yeah. OK, now look. Somebody over there... I'm not going to be able to cope with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mid-lesson defeat for the chalkboard and rubber exponent as Louise Whiteboard Wikes comes to the rescue. OK, so look what we had. Look, we had T-R-E-E -E, and we had tremendous... I'll tell you what, you help me with the spelling. Rat. So spell it, please. R-A-T-S Yeah? E A T. OK, now before we put everything, yes, we know everything, but we also had somebody over there. Now this is what we call breaking the rules when you're doing it, because you're, sometimes in poetry you can break the rules. Somebody said... 
bread. So the E is in the middle, and we break the rules there. Or everything, we had lots of really good ideas for that. So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and do one of these using the word leaf. Now it doesn't have to be to do with tree, okay? So you've got your leaves. I think maybe we should practice, have you on paper, bits of paper, just to get some ideas and maybe think of a few leaf ideas and then see which one we want to put on our leaf. Okay. Yes, I've got a question over there. Um, I've got it's easily, do you know what? I'm going to do it as well. I had no idea what I was going to say. Easy, you know, it just happens. Do you know what happens? Do you know what happens? Sometimes you just, you, you just and goes up like that, doesn't it? What do you want to say? No idea. Sorry about that. <laughs> Special heavy-duty paper for you to work on. So just pass them around, everybody gets a piece of... OK. And don't worry about it making sense as long as it's a sentence and it doesn't have anything to do with leaves. I'll tell you what I'll do. While you're doing that, I'll play some music. Can you leave the leaves for the minute. Leave the leaves for the minute. And I'll play this instrument. Very good. 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 Do try and try another one. Oh, good. It's going well. OK. Has everybody done at least one? Yeah. OK, now I think what we'll do is we'll choose our favourite one and write it on our leaf. Perhaps you could show, if you've got a few of them, show them to somebody next to you and let them look. You might don't have to go by their judgement, but it might help you. Yeah, that's a look. Yeah, Leprechaun's Eat American. Oh, that's a good one. I can't really read mine, it's a bit. Oh, no, I can't We're going to share a few of these now. Now I'm going to I'm going to go spinning around, and I'm going to point to somebody, and it's going to be me. What's there? That person there. We stand up, please, and in a loud voice, all the rest of us choose the one you put on your leaf, and the rest of us are going to spell out the word leaf, L-E-A-F, and then you, in a loud voice, are going to say the ones what you've got for leaf. Okay. So wait for it. Wait for it. And. Lovely. A. Elephants. A. Eight. A. Flies. Thank you very much. Good. Give her a round of applause. Good work. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the elephant. Now, here we are. Here's my suit. I'm going to put my suit on in a minute. I'm a bit hot. This is a lighter suit. So, what's this part called? Jacket. That's called the jacket. Um, what's this part called? Trousers. That's called the trousers. Now, what's this part called? Hanger. 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 Coat hanger or hanger. Now, the thing about this is coat hanger. There's something different going on, isn't there? Trousers, jacket, coat hanger. What are those two words doing? Somebody over here got an idea. What are they doing? What are they doing? Hanging a coat? Yes, it does. It tells you what it does. Hanging your coat. It tells you what it does. Hang your coat. Hang your coat on this. And that is a coat hanger. And there are other things. Can anybody think of something else that describes what it does? A vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner. Uh, OK, so we've got some ideas of things. So now, using that way of describing, we're going to try and describe the elephant. Think of what an elephant does, and I'll go and put my suit on. And you can think of what an elephant does and a something something of. What does an elephant do? Think about the elephant. Has, has everybody got one, at least one? OK, if you are ready with your elephant phrases, raise a leaf. If you have your phrase, raise your leaf. Thank you. Leaves down. So, how we're going to do it is this. Stand in the line there. It'll make it easier for everybody to hear you. OK, we're going to go along the line, and you say your phrase, and then the rest of you repeat it. Let's hear you. Wait for it. OK. Loud trumpeter. Loud trumpeter. 
Parker. The Nosy Parker. No. The Nosy Parker. <laughs> An elephant maker. <laughs> An elephant maker. OK, sit down, please. Thank you. OK, before we finish, are there any questions they would like to ask me before we finish? We've been a very, very good bunch, really good work. Really, really good. Has, has anybody got any questions? Sorry, what is your name? Uh, your Angus. Name? Angus, Angus, what is your question? Uh, can we hear one of your poems? Yeah! yeah. Okay. OK, this is a song about a dog. This is a poem. It's about a dog called Max. Yesterday it happened while we were out in the car. Car! And it's a small car. And it's a small car. And Granny, she was sick. And Granny was sick. sick. She's not used to it like not, we are. She's not used to it like we are. Max is smelly. Max is smelly. Is smelly. You can interfere with your telly. But luckily, but luckily, he's not an elephant. Luckily, he's not an elephant. Oh, wicked! <laughs> um. Quite a journey, um, pleasant ending to the journey. I was trying to get get them to understand certain things, and I don't know to what extent they did, but I wanted them to understand that you could break the rules a bit. But that came out from the. Th I didn't go in with that intention, so I'm going in there learning stuff as well. Oh yeah, I want you to know that you don't have to obey the rules. That's the great thing about acrostics, and it's probably, I'd say the the easiest kind of poetry to teach in a way because you've got a really nice structure and I guess that's one of, one of the things about getting children excited about poetry. If they're relaxed that there's a kind of a structure there for them to hang their ideas off. And then you, you realise that they would like to be entertained and it was just that was you know that that child said will you do as a poem at the end. Well you couldn't have scripted that could you? Well you could have done but we didn't. He was very very positive all the time whatever the suggestion and he was very very calm repeating pens down pens down pens down pens down pens down pens down because sometimes it takes that long especially if you're kind of whipping them up into a creative frenzy you can't suddenly expect them all to kind of sit there you know because adults wouldn't oh he was really cool because he would teach us with like a banjo and we got to write on leaves instead of paper so it's really cool i found it quite interesting and you can like make up words even though some of them don't even make sense. So it, you can just like use your imagination. Well, he was really nice and funny and I really do wish he was like our head teacher, but you know, what can I do about it? So 